Hey everybody, and welcome back to Wicked Tarantulas. So of course, me being me, I have another project in play. This tarantula is a little too big for this enclosure. As you see, the web's kind of distorted, not really real rebuilding it, and that's what all my avicular aviculars do. When their enclosure starts to become too small, they actually quit building webs. So I see his little foot sticking out. I am not sure if this is male or a female yet. So it's time to get rid of this container and put him or her in something a lot bigger. So, since I like my tarantulas to have more than enough room, and I like to display my tarantulas, none of them are actually closed up, I get some pretty large containers just to display them. That was actually a pretty cheap container and it's really big. Then I go to Pat Catan's and I buy a whole bunch more greenery, okay? So lots of plans for this, this tarantula. So since they like to climb, I'm going to kind of recreate their environment, although it's kind of hard to create an avicular avicularis environment. I'm thinking about adding like a large bowl. That way, if it chooses to get inside, it will do so because, believe it or not, in the wild, avicular, avicularis will swim to get to the next tree look it up i couldn't believe it either i seen a pink toe tarantula swimming across like trees that are in water to get to the next tree it's pretty cool so i think i'm going to try to incorporate this hanging hide in there somehow but what i want to show you guys is the price i paid for all this greenery okay so i went to pet Catans, of course like i said and I only spent $25.27. And yes, I feel like all of my species deserve this plus more. I chose to habit them, so it's my, my responsibility to take care of them. So believe it or not, that Critter Keeper was only $17.98 with tax $19.42. So I roughly spent about 40 almost $50 for this one arachnid, and he deserves it. So I'm going to get this process going, I'm going to get a range, and I will show you what I come up with. Alright, so the enclosure is done and is set up. Dread awful glare. So what I did is... Alright, so time to show you what I did. So I completely created a beautiful greenery land for him or her. So I made a water bowl. The water bowl itself is green. I applied a lot of leaves to it and I actually buried it. So it sits level and then I applied a second bowl. And that one's a little bit of a shallower bowl. But that way he just has enough. I can ensure there's a lot of humidity and hydration. Well, what's suited for this creature species whatever you want to call them so what I'm doing is yes I am kind of doing this in my bathtub just because this guy is extremely fast I want to be able to control his speed so I'm gonna get the lid off and he should be able to stay in this for the remaining of his lifespan or her just because of the fact is you're gonna see this tarantula is much larger than what it was from its last molt it has actually doubled its size and it really doesn't have that much more in length to go. So I suspect maybe two or three more molts at the most. And I will have a fully matured species. And I will definitely know by then if it's male or female. Hopefully before the final molt. Because I like to see if I'm right or wrong. Alright, so let me get the lid off. And we will get back to it. Now well, that is a very beautiful tarantula. And this is the one I named Spidey. So I'm going to attempt to coast him from out of his web into his new home. But first, I need to get him a little bit closer. So I'm going to attempt just to coast him. Pardon my fingers. So let's see how well this goes. Now this is the one I handled back in September. So I'm going to see how easy this will go. These are very calm species. I know my male is. Come on, on me. Oop, your webbing's so thick. Don't get caught up in your own web. Come on, see what I did for you. Come on. 
goodness gracious, I'm in such a tight spot right now. Like how my toilet in my tub is does not make this easy. I'm like in a really tiny tight fit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this guy and get him in. Which it should be easy, but he's being stubborn, doesn't really want to move. And I'll show you him in his new home, hopefully. Yeah, so we were just walking the walls of my exhibit. So it'd be awesome if he puts himself in, which it looks like he's going to do so. Good job, Spidey. Don't jump. That's what you're feeling for. You're really going to like your new home if you would just go in. It's really spacious for you. I love the way that they walk. I have to get my, <laughs> my bathroom remodeled. It is so outdated. I need a modern bathroom. Hopefully that'll come soon. Hey, we put ourselves in. Good shot. See if we can coast him down or if he's going to run out. Sorry, I'm trying to focus on him. Go on, buddy. Go on. Good job. And India's? So I'm going to put the lid on before he decides to come out. Okay, so he decided to put himself in, which is always a good thing. Immediately went for the plants. Can barely see him, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get his sticks out from his old exhibit, and I'm going to place them into his new exhibit because he does like his sticks. So I hope this suits him, and I hope he or she, I keep saying he, but I'm not even 100% sure if it's male or female, takes to this exhibit kindly and accepts it because I took three hours to put all this together. And you look stunning in there on that green plant. All right, guys, let me know what you think about the way I designed this exhibit. Is this something you would do? Would you add more, take something out? Just give me your ideas. Remember, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Make sure you turn on your bell notifications. Like or dislike, whichever you choose. Leave a comment down below, and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, I hope your new year is a great year, and I hope that you guys can stick with your new year resolution. I never make any because I never do, but this new year's resolution, I think I'm going to add five new tarantulas to my collection at least, if not more. All right, guys, see you on the next one. Hope you have a great day. Bye. Okay, so I lied. Here is the final setup. So we have all the sticks in place. We have two balls. Lots of things to hide and build webs to. And a calm, happy tarantula. That's just hanging out. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Bye.